always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 517. If you're just joining us this morning, welcome on in. Yeah. We're going to get a check of the weather here. Humidity, it looks to return to Acadiana today. And then, of course, we know what follows most times. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Adam will <clears throat> give us the time frame. When will that weather knock on the door and humidity give way? Well, you know, we're already starting to see that return to more humid conditions out there, Scott and Alex. We still have a little ways to go before we see rain chances, but those will be coming here very shortly. Our Queen City of the Tash Camera in New Iberia currently showing that it's pretty quiet out there. We have a little layer of some cloud cover off in the distance, but Admiral Doyle, Lewis Streets, reviewing that from atop the Community First Bank building. No problems for your morning time here. But as we go through the rest of today, things will be changing for us. We're looking at temperatures here in parts of Acadiana in the 60s, north of I-10, lower 70s here, Lafayette, New Iberia. And we are going to be watching as clouds begin to increase through the day today. Now, here's the deal with some of these clouds. They're not going to really be producing any rain chances unless you're down around the coast. That's where we could see one or two showers. Our future cast picking up on that even as early as midday. I think a little bit better rain chance though towards 2, 3, 4 p.m. But after that, things settle down. We see a very sticky night back in place. That humidity making it feel like summertime here in Acadiana. Wasn't it nice to have that little break that we had through the weekend and yesterday? Well, future cast then showing that we go into the early morning hours on your Wednesday. No major changes, but by lunchtime, we start to see showers and storms increasing and widespread rain chances across Acadiana at times pretty heavy rain. This is all to due to a weak front settling on down to the coast there. And you know, again, we could get another round of some steady rain that helps with the drought, helps keep temperatures on the cooler side too. Afternoon temperatures today though, mid 90s. So it is going to be very, very hot out there. Some clouds. That high humidity, we're going to likely have a heat index climbing above 100 degrees. But again, compared to what this summer was, that's not too bad. Overnight, say goodbye to any cooler air. We're back into the 70s. Tomorrow, we're in the 90s. 92 degrees, scattered storms, some of which will be heavy. So for your three-day forecast, we have a hot day today, but generally dry. Scattered storm chances on your Wednesday. Now it looks like Wednesday should be the rainy day as that front settles just offshore. Thursday that could keep a few shower and storm chances around, especially along the coast. And then as we head into the weekend, spotty storm chances still sticking about each and every afternoon, which would keep us generally in the lower 90s. You know, you don't get enough rain, you might get to the mid 90s. But I generally think after today, more of a typical viewpoint of temperatures for this time of the year in the lower 90s, which feels a whole lot better than those 100s we were seeing not that long ago. That is true. We're appreciating the 90s. Very much <laughs> yeah. so. Who would have thought? Okay, Adam, thank Thanks, you. Adam. Uh, we'll circle back a little later in the show.